And guys, it's working, bringing you a very quick update on Bitcoin. Hope you guys are having a wonderful evening. Uh, it's going to be a very, very quick update, guys. Sorry, I was um, getting ready to go to bed, a little bit exhausted, um, and uh, may or may not have had a couple beers. So just want to uh, give you guys a quick update, and then I'm going to head to bed here. But uh, I know I've had a couple uh, a couple messages. Most of you guys seem to be uh, messaging, me, messaging me via direct message on uh, Facebook, Twitter, or my email, uh, which you can find in the bottom of the comment section of this and most of my videos, um, which is just fine. Just know that uh, I can't always get back to you guys and I'll do the best that I can, uh, but uh, but I do appreciate you. I do see your comments, and I'm going to do the best I can to get back to uh, to get back to everybody. If I happen to miss a comment, guys, by all means, please repeat it. Um, comment me again, or comment at me again in a uh, in a new video, um, and I will try to uh, again. I'll try to get to uh, to all your uh, all your comments. Please don't take any disrespect, guys. I'm not ignoring anybody. It's just that there's only so much time. All right. Last time we talked, guys, we were talking with uh, Bitcoin, or excuse me, price was sitting uh, right below twelve thousand, uh, hitting right below literally at that target guys we were talking about little consolidation said that would be where the bull trap was going to happen if there was going to be a bull trap of course we know now that it wasn't we did end up breaking up that was your signal to buy um, now if you uh, if you did decide to front run this thing I told you to wait for an open and close on the four hour um, I got in a little bit earlier than that um, and the and the only reason I did that guys if we come in here and we saw this breakout right here we broke out on quite a bit of volume in fact let me bring it up there we go. We can see on this breakout here, guys, right above that 12,000, it broke up on massive volume. Now, had it been much lower than this, I probably wouldn't. But the fact that we broke out on massive volume to the point we haven't seen buy volume like that since uh, July the 19th. So it has been quite some time, guys. So that I was fairly comfortable getting in early with that. If you missed that, though, if you did listen and you were more conservative, which I completely understand, guys, always better to be more conservative, then you got this confirmation right here with an opening close, a four-hour opening close, which did end up closing at about uh, 12000 $275. So you would be in profit right now. A fairly decent amount is currently priced sitting at uh, 12614 If you did take that trade, especially on leverage, congratulations, guys. As of right now, looks like to me it wants to possibly continue up. In fact, I'm going to go into the, the hourly, something I don't typically like to do. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go in here to the hourly. It does look like it may want to take another run of about $12,850, guys. I would expect it to find some resistance there, possibly a retracement. Um, and I'd look for a bounce retracing back to about 12400 where I would like to see that hold as support and then a nice bounce off of that zone. If that does happen, that's extremely bullish. Now I can accept a bounce to all the, or a drop all the way back down to 12,000 and a nice bounce off that zone. That's acceptable as well, although it'll concern me a little bit. If we do break down below 12,000, then I start to get concerned, guys. Then I start to think that, uh, you know, maybe this thing isn't what we think it is. Um, but again, I'm not expecting that to happen. It's not until we break 11,500 that I get very, very concerned again. So let's wait and see kind of how this ends up playing out, guys. As I said, for now, looks to me like it may end up trading a range very briefly between about 12,850 all the way down to about 12,400. Um, if we do break 12,850 here, guys, I do think very a decisive break. I do think, as I said earlier, a very quick rise down to about 13,500 is your likely uh, is your likely target at that point. <clears throat> now, looking at that thir uh, 12,800, where are we getting that? Or 12,850, where are we getting that? If we go swing high, swing low of this latest microstructure, we can see that about that 12,000. Uh, let me get right on that. About 12,800, 12,900, this zone right here, guys, lies right over that 786. Also a nice visual resistance, so we can see that we're very likely going to have to have quite a bit of volume to break up and through this area here. That said, we certainly could see that. We'll have to wait and see kind of how that plays out. Personally, again, I'd like to see a bounce, double hit off that 12.4 uh, uh, area, and then a continuation to the upside here. Now, looking at the uh, looking at our ind indicators here, go point to point. Obviously, price created a higher high. If we come down here, we look at the histogram on the four-hour chart. Price creating a lower high. That is suggesting we may end up seeing some bearish divergence. Not there yet. Not confirmed yet, but certainly, I'd like to say, showing some leg. Um, so certainly suggesting that we may see that. Now, again, that is not confirmed. Will not be confirmed until we do come back down here and start and uh, and close a candle below this current uh, current uh, candle that we're seeing right now on the four-hour chart. But nonetheless, it is something to notice. It is something to be aware of because it may end up playing out that way. Um, and again, I'd like to see it break up above, hit about that twelve thousand eight, twelve thousand nine hundred dollar area, then play that divergence out, come back down 
hit this lower zone again, right around 12,400, which would also be the top of that 786 fib level that we just broke through, and then a nice bounce and continuation up from there. Guys, that's kind of what I'm looking for. That's kind of what I'm playing, looking to play. And if we do end up coming up here, guys, if it looks like we're going to reject, that very, very likely might sell part of my position here and try to buy back in here. That'd be a little bit risky, and I certainly wouldn't sell all of my position, but that's kind of what I'm thinking um, as of right now. Um, again, we did break out on volume. Let's go ahead and check longs and shorts. Uh, looking at the four-hour shorts, barely rising longs. Uh, yeah, I mean, not a little bit more, a little bit more, but really uh, pretty irrelevant there. That's actually pretty healthy. We're, we're seeing people not chase price so much, more just kind of a watching and waiting, guys. I think most, so many people got burned. Everyone's just uh, not ready to jump in. And again, that is a healthy sign, more of a healthy sign of a uh, of a of a healthier market. Uh, coming in here, looking at our moving averages, exponential on the four-hour chart. Uh, st uh, just completely stretching out the four-hour upper Bollinger Bands there, getting more light between the 821 and 55-day EMA, all bullish, checking the daily. Uh, daily well above, of course, the eight-day EMA, coming up, testing the top of the Bollinger Band. Top of the Bollinger Band sits at about $12,900, which, again, has nice confluence which are with our $12,900 support that we just, or excuse me, resistance that it looked like we just looked at right there at that 786 FIB. So, again, suggesting we may temporarily find some resistance there at about $12,800, $12,900, somewhere in there. Possible small retracement down to about $12,400, $12,500, and then a continuation to the upside. At least that would be the ideal scenario in my opinion the 821 and 55 all um all uh um eight on top of the 21 on top of the 55 all a nice bullish bullish setup looking at the weekly i'm really liking this guys we are now stretching out the upper bollinger bands on the weekly chart guys nothing but bullish there never did touch the eight week ema again nothing nothing but bullish on the weekly weekly has just been incredibly impressive especially given this shooting star um uh closed two weeks ago guys just to find the odds here so far so far again don't want to get too bullish here but so far just looking absolutely beautiful here guys now it's not until we take out 13,800 that we can all start getting really excited but until that does have a decisive break above that but as of right now guys things certainly are looking strong so this was just a very very quick update guys i'm gonna go to bed um we'll uh, do some more updates tomorrow i'm also gonna release a video on how to paper trade on trading view um as well as for i know there's some new people that are getting in uh, getting involved guys following the channel that actually have just no idea how to trade at all they don't even know how to read candlesticks on a chart and they're just asking me you know these different questions on basically how to interpret charts how to read charts um and of course we all learn somewhere so i'm very happy to make a video on that and i should release that in the next couple days as well again that won't be for most of you traders most of you veteran traders but for those just learning learning to get into cryptocurrency um and are curious how to read charts i'll be releasing some videos on those so keep an eye out until next time guys i'm gonna hit the sack take care of yourselves uh have a uh, have a great week have a great morning depending on where you are in the world until next time guys this is working sign